morning and welcome back to the 7th of February, day 7 of February. Um, <clears throat> I say that every morning. Well, I've woken up with the worst throat in the world. Just before Christmas, I got a cold and this feels like exactly the same thing. I hope it isn't because I don't want another cold. I really, really don't. Um, I'm fed up with it now already <laughs> um i went to bed last night and i could feel it really scratching um all night last night it was really scratchy and i've woke up this morning and it's tmi but a little bit phlegmy <laughs> um so yeah it's not really that good i have got dressed but i haven't done anything with my hair i just can't be bothered and i haven't put no makeup on today um i'm not doing anything or going out or whatever so just a lazy day indoors and chilling <clears throat> I'm going to edit yesterday's vlog then I am going to um, I've made a, a plan for today sort of <laughs> um, I'm going to do an hour of um, knitting on my jumper new jumper that I'm knitting I'm just gonna put my arm down a second <laughs> um, new knitting on my new jumper and then an hour yeah an hour of knitting on my new jumper then an hour knitting on my socks and then see what the time is from there um because it is already 11 o'clock um so once i've edited this do that and then in the evenings i am enjoying knitting my socks like watching tv and that so um i'll see how that goes and then if not then i'll spend the day when i've got time in the daytime to knit on my jumper and then the evenings to knit on my socks um <clears throat> so yeah that is the plan so far it's a lovely sunny day out it's very very windy though i've spoken to ian this morning and he said that some it looks like someone's put fast forward onto the clouds because they're moving so quick and here it is really windy um so yeah <clears throat> oh my throat um I just need to do a little bit of pottering around today, um, do some washing and some boring stuff like that. So, but I'm going to edit first and yeah, that is the plan so far. I've also been watching um, Louise Pentland, um, my sister watches her and I've been watching her and Brummy Mummy of Two just to get some inspiration for my vlogs and what to vlog and things like that because I do get inspiration from watching other people um, and to be honest I watch the Ingham family but I think with the with the Inghams it's they're always doing something to please the viewers they're always going out and saying we don't want our vlogs to be boring and things like that um, where it seems I've only watched a couple of each of the <clears throat> two vlogs that I just mentioned um, but it seems like even they're at, even if they're at home, they'll still pick up the camera and just vlog what they're doing at home and things like that. So, um, and that is me. I don't go out very often, and when I do, I do try to vlog. But nine times out of ten, I'm at home. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, yeah, that is that is the plan to watch them, get some inspiration, and just see what they get up to and see if it's similar to what I do <laughs> um who knows who knows um <clears throat> I did also put a post on Instagram last night to ask if there was any questions that people wanted to ask me and I haven't got any so far <laughs> um but never mind um yeah never mind uh, if you've got no questions then I don't know is that a good thing maybe I don't know <laughs> anyway I'm gonna go and edit this the camera needs to go on charge <coughs> I need to get rid of this cough I've made myself a coffee I've taken some tablets <coughs> so hopefully who knows I might feel a little bit better in a little while but I'm gonna go and um, put this camera on charge so I've been knitting away on my jumper I've done one row <laughs> I've been watching some TV but do you notice anything different Maybe that my glasses are wonky. I have the arm in my hand. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my glasses have broken. Oh my god, they are <clears throat> they are only like the cheap range from Specsavers. I think I've had them two years, but the arm has decided to snap. Um, 
So yeah, um, I think I'm due an eye test anyway, so. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe they've I just literally went to put them on and they they went right out and I was like oh and then it snapped they do fit like for now Ian's gonna bring some tape um I think he's got some tape in his car but yeah so I tried putting them on my head <laughs> they fall off Ooh. so yeah I'm gonna um try and book a, an eye test I normally get mine done at Specsavers so and I know they've they've probably got my records and whatever, so I'm gonna ring them or go online and see if they've got any available appointments. <laughs> I can't believe they broke. Like, oh my god. But anyway, <laughs> thought I'd let you know <laughs> the disaster of today and Yeah. So I've come to a decision. I'm still wearing my wonky donkey glasses. <laughs> I've booked an appointment for Saturday at 2 o'clock to have an eye test and pick some new glasses. Um, so yeah, I've come to a decision. Because I'm trying to knit this cable jumper. And the rib at the bottom has come out so lovely. Um, it's so nice and soft and squidgy. The yarn is beautiful, and even knitting, well, knitting it, and it's um, quite thin on these last couple of rows. It's coming out really, really nice. Do you think I can get my head? I keep going like this. <laughs> Do you think I can get my head around this pattern? No. I'm not very good at knitting any sort of design in knitting <laughs> um and it's not really floating my boat so i'm thinking of pulling it back and maybe obviously i haven't got a lifeline which i should have done after the rib because the rib is i love it i absolutely love this rib it is it looks so soft and squishy so what i'm thinking is to either knit start knitting this one or or knit this one yeah knit to this one but just in stocking stitch um i don't know what to do i don't know i don't know i don't know <laughs> um i think this is quite long for just stocking stitch though i think it should have some sort of pattern on it um I don't know and I'm really blurry I don't know what to do um hmm but I think I'm gonna have to rip this back one jumper unraveled <laughs> um yeah that didn't take long that took a couple of minutes if that <laughs> um I was worried because of the yarn is very very fluffy like it's got a halo I thought it uh, it would sort of snag as I undid it but it didn't at all and it's rolled up nicely I've just done it into a um, center pull ball oh <laughs> um, where is it gone a center pull ball so as I use it I can pull from the center and it's not gonna go everywhere um, let me take this <laughs> off <laughs> um, but I've decided that I will probably knit this one um, I don't know what the cabling is going to look like I'm sorry about the drilling um, but I don't know what the cable is going to look like in the um, in the <laughs> the this yarn <laughs> um, that is just thrown me completely I don't know what yeah I don't know what the cable is gonna look like but I know the ribbon is gonna be super soft super squishy um, and the back is just plain. Um, is there stuff down the sides? Oh, there's cabling down the sides of the arm as well. So, yeah, that is what I'm going to make. Um, wish me luck. Second time lucky with this yarn. <laughs> I know Pearl had some trouble with it as well. Um, there is a pattern in the book, in uh, one of the knitting magazines, but it wasn't long enough and I wanted something a bit different. There's also this pattern but I don't like the roll neck. Pearl actually gifted me this pattern. Um, but I'm not a lover of the roll neck. And possibly, once I've knitted this jumper, I will probably have enough to make this. 
because Pearl sent me sent me so much yarn. <laughs> um, so yeah, I might hmm, I might make this afterwards. We shall see. But for now, I'm going to cast on for this. Now it has got a garter bottom band, but I might do that in two by two rib actually. Um, I just don't like garter. Um, I suppose it is quite a deep garter. I don't like garter when it starts rolling up at the bottom. Um, I just can't stand that. So I might do a rib instead. Change it up a bit, I suppose. Mm. Yeah, I might read through the pattern and see. Because there's rib at the top, so I don't see why I can't put rib at the bottom. So, I've changed my mind again. <laughs> Oh my god right so now looking at this pattern um it seems very um like oversized at the bottom and very big flowy um and i'm just thinking with this yarn um it's very soft and i can imagine it going very limp or very not misshapen that's not the right word I don't really know what the word is, <laughs> um, but I can imagine it going very um, floppy type. So I don't think this is going to be the right pattern for what I want. The other pattern I think is perfect for what I want because it's quite a fitted type of jumper. Right, so <laughs> I'm not doing either of those. I have decided... And I'm sticking to my guns. I'm not changing my mind again. But I'm going to change or alter the pattern. Anyway. This is the pattern that is in the Simply Crochet magazine. Now this is quite a short um, jumper. And you can't really tell in this picture how short it is. Is there another picture in here? There is another picture. Um, <clears throat> so that is the jumper. As you can see, it's not short for skinny people, but I'm not skinny by any means. And I like a longer jumper that covers my bottom and my belly. <laughs> um, now this has got a split seam at the bottom, which is all fine. That doesn't bother me. This, the, the size that I need to do uses 700 grams of yarn. I think I've got 11 balls, so I have got plenty to make this a little bit longer. Now I'm thinking maybe just the rib again longer. So how many rows that takes. I'm going to knit that again, I suppose, in the actual just stocking stitch. And I can make it as long as I want. I don't have to go by the pattern or anything like that. Um, so that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to knit that pattern. As it is really, really nice. It is a really nice pattern. And a really nice jumper. And it looks really cosy. Like the arms look cosy. The neck looks cosy. Um, and I've got a really cosy colour in grey and pink. So I'm really looking forward to casting this on. And getting the rib done. Don't know whether that will be today <laughs> because um yeah i don't know but <clears throat> i can still wear my glasses and if worse comes to worse i just won't wear them but i will probably be a bit boss-eyed by the end of tonight <laughs> um i can't see without them it's just if i'm doing any close-up work and then i look far away the tv is blurry so that's one reason why i wear them i'm long-sighted um, and I need my glasses for closer up work but this is an easy knit and I just think that this will be the best thing to knit with this yarn um, so yeah my nose is feeling a little bit stuffy uh, <laughs> um, but I'm hoping that I don't get too much of a cold my throat is not so bad at the moment I can it's not scratchy or anything like it was last night but uh, I'm going to dose myself up with some pills again and just see what happens, I suppose. Um, but this pattern is called Midnight Blue. It's in the Simply Knitting Magazine issue 
um, I think it's a newer one, issue 180, and it just says uh, 2018. Doesn't say what month it was. I think it's Christmas because, or a Christmas E one, because it's got um, a little penguin jumper in there. So I think it was the end of last year. Um, and again, in this one, let me get the big pattern up. Is is this in chunky? It doesn't actually say. No, it doesn't say. But this is again like the pattern that I tried doing with the crisscrossy. They've called it cable in the other pattern. Oh, is that glaring? Um, I just can't get my head round it. I really can't get my head round it. It's probably really simple, and once you get like the couple of foundation rows done, it's probably really easy. But I just can't get my head round it. Anyway, I'm gonna go, and um, Ian's on his way home, so I'll catch you a bit later. So, wonderful Ian fixed my glasses. Um, he super glued it and bent it back in and did whatever and it's fixed so yay <laughs> um i finally cast on this jumper that i am going to make it is called midnight blue simple jumper i think um it's probably a stylecraft name for it or a number i would have thought um but it doesn't say no it just says simple jumper midnight blue and I'm doing it in this lovely pink and grey colour. Um, so yeah, I've cast that on. I'm catching up with Dancing on Ice that was from Sunday night that I haven't watched yet. Um, I don't even know who went. So yeah, I'm watching that now. Um, and I'm going to go. So I shall see you all tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Um, tomorrow, no plans as, you, as of yet. So I'll have to wait and see. But thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed. And yeah, I shall see you tomorrow. Bye.